On my back to learning CapCut, let me show you how to create an endless slide effect. I just use three images. You can use as many as you like, or even just one. Just make sure that the ratio is set to what you need, and then resize your image so that it fits your canvas. By default, mine is three seconds long. I go to Video Basic and I use Position. Click on this diamond icon to start the animation. Keep in mind that I'm at the start of the clip in the timeline, so fully to the left. And now I drag this image to the right side so that it's outside of the frame. I go to the end. I create a keyframe here as well by clicking on the diamond icon. Then I set the position to zero to find my image. And now I left click drag it to the left outside of the preview window. It's not fully outside, so I have to reselect it, go to position right here, and then I use the arrow keys to bring that up to here. So that depends a little bit these values on the canvas size and the size of the images. But now this image moves from right to left. I'm going to go to the position where it starts moving outside of the preview frame. So right here. Then add your second image. Place it exactly where you now have your marker. And this works when you have the snapping enabled right here. Your new image should then snap to this position. And you can be sure it's perfectly set. Start the animation from this as well. So I've got the second image selected. Click on the diamond icon, pull it to the right until it's outside of the frame. The snapping helps here. Then I go to the end, select the clip, create a new keyframe by setting the position to zero, drag it to the left. And again, I have to use the arrow keys a little bit to minus three, three, nine, 20, something like this. Three, nine, 24. We play it and there you go. So they move at the same speed, they move in the same direction and they are directly stacked. You can see that here. And this is what you have to do with all of the images that you need. So we have to go to a position where the second image starts moving outside of the preview frame. I add my third image, create a keyframe, pull it to the right, move to the end, set it to zero. It creates a new keyframe by default. Then I pull it to the left to adjust it a little bit more. So that we are again at three, nine, two, four or two, five, something like this. I play it and now we have three images. You can continue on and on. As I said, depends on how many images you've got. If you only have three and you want to create an endless slide of these three only, then select all images now. Then right click and create a compound clip. And now you can hold Alt and drag a copy out of there. Reposition it right here where the marker is, which was the first position where the last image moved out of the frame. And now you can see it's an endless animation. Here again, the last image moves out of the frame. So I reposition the marker, hold Alt, drag a copy out of there, reposition it. And this is how you can create this endless slide effect in CapCut. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.